What's good, y'all? Fire Ants Blazing, hitting y'all up with another video, and I'm going to answer some of y'all questions for the This Not Showing Up Fix video that I made way back in 2019. Well, I'm going to answer some of y'all questions, and I'm going to show y'all some things that um, I forgot to tell y'all in here. I'm also going to show you what to do if you have problems with with it not showing up if it doesn't show up inside of the um the the disk management thing so i'm gonna go over some of these questions um let's see it it is a it's a struggle like dealing with this computer thing because every single time you build a computer you think you got it going and every time, every time you, you start it up and it's not working, it's like you build your own computer and now you're not proud of yourself because you messed up, you thought you messed up or, you know, something like that. And then you find out you just left something unplugged or something like that, you know. Sometimes you have to check to make sure that everything is plugged up properly, everything is snapped into place. Um, this is my computer rig right here. Sorry for the mess over here, but I'm practicing using this, um, tripod. So it's going to be a while. I'm just getting used to this tripod. So I'm making this video to test this out too. Let's see if you're going to like these videos any even better. Um, so back to here, I've been getting a lot of thank yous. Um, I appreciate the viewers and stuff getting it, getting this video up to 105,000 views. That is amazing. I'm never, well, 107,000. I mean, I've never, I never got that many views before on YouTube. But hey, it took almost a couple years. Um, I got another thank you today, 11 minutes ago. Thank you so much. Nice. Let's see. I'm going to answer this question right here. So, okay, Sky Hermit. Um, Western Digital Blue, two terabyte. Bought it in two, late 2017. Using it all the time. A few days ago, it suddenly disappeared for the computer. At the moment, I don't have a USB to SATA cable. So you're going to try to see, try one of these and see how it goes. Now, this will help you out a little bit with finding out what the problem is with that hard drive. But it could, it could be a dead hard drive, you know, because old hard drives always tend to go out. And, and for you, this will be it right here. I think it's like 15 bucks, probably $8.00. This is a Type C. They got the USB 3.0s. I think they're cheaper. They're like 11 bucks, probably less than that on Newegg. I'm not trying to be tech deals, but hey, here's the deal right here. We got one for eight dollars and ninety cents, and you can grab this one. Something quick and quick and painless. It's not going to cost you much, and boom, you'll have something for your future hard drives. There it is, right here eight bucks i'll leave a link in the description below for that um i don't have an affiliate link yet but hey what is that <laughs> what is that what oh jack baker oh from <laughs> from um resident evil how did he become the molded <laughs> oh man oh i don't know <laughs> All right, so um, next up, all right, for the ones that is still new to PC, you can always right-click and go to Device Manager and Disk Management and have access to everything on your computer. Um, I'm going to click on Disk Management because this is going to be for the hard drives. This is going to be for the hard drives. I'm going to zoom in. I'm going to zoom in here. 
and I'm going to see if I can. Man, I love having this tripod now. It's so much better. I can show this to you easier. So what I did on that last video was I took um, I took a hard drive that I, that I had that was unallocated. It said unallocated. It'll be it'll say right here. It'll say right, yeah, about right there. It'll say unallocated on the drive. So what I did was I right clicked on it, and what I did was I went to change device letter and that's how I did it that's if your hard drive is showing up that's just for method one um, now method two is gonna have to require me to boot the computer up again and go into the BIOS so what I'm gonna do I'm gonna go ahead and restart it now and um, let me shut it down I'm gonna shut this computer down. So I'm gonna I'm gonna turn it back on after everything cuts back on. I'm doing all of this in real time because I really can't do too much. I can't do too much right now because I'm still still going through this little injury thing, but I'm still recovering still. But I'm at back at work and I'm working great. I'm turning the computer on back on now and I'm pressing F2 because I am on the AMD platform and I have a Asus ROG Strix X570E that is the name of my PC motherboard and I'm waiting for this thing to turn on and it's not turning on there we go f2 there we go man i was about to trip well i built this thing man i don't want this thing going out on me already see as you can see here we are in the bios and this is what the amd bios platform look like right now for the Asus ROG X570E motherboard looks like I'm gonna have to flash this thing and put a new firmware on there which is for the newer um, drives okay so now we're gonna go to we're gonna want to go to SATA configuration you might want to check into your SATA configuration and make sure all your hot plugs are enabled or disabled. I think it's disabled, I think. Yeah. You see how these uh, SATA, SATA cables are disabled? So my M.2, I'm not using it, so it's disabled. M.2, SATA 8, SATA gray. It's gonna say say the gray, but most of these are disabled, and basically it'll have a hard drive on there. It'll have a hard drive. See my hard drives? Those are my hard drives. I don't have no hard drives plugged into those SATA ports. Which I'm gonna go ahead and open up my computer, my computer rig, and I'm gonna shine my light my light through here I mean I'm, I'm doing some things that might help you out so within this 10 to 15 minute video if you if this helped you I mean at least leave a comment or something you know to say that it helped you know Just gotta take this glass off Yeah, this may be one of the boring videos I made <laughs> so far. All right, let's see. As you can see, I'm just going to zoom in here. 
and that's where my SATA cables are now as you can see I have my I have my SATA cables going towards um, the right going more towards the right because I'm thinking that is SATA cable one two three and four because when I plugged them in it said uh, six five four and three and two but I got four of my SATA cables plugged in towards that way towards this way to the right I think that's the proper way for me it's working and as you can see the corresponding the corresponding cable plugs is showing um, corresponding cable plugs are showing um, yep say the six three two one yeah you know you, you get it you get the idea you get the idea but try to and try to see if everything is working on there you know just give it a check take your time look through it you know play around with it reboot the computer start back over you know and go back over again with it you know I mean, you, I mean, you, oh, you can't mess this up. I mean, you can always reset the defaults if it don't work. Now, if your hard drives come up, go and do them steps again, like back into the, the um, disk management, you know, and fix that and fix that issue. Um, really, this is pretty much the end of the video, really. But if you have any more questions about this. Uh, watch the last video. Watch the last video that I did on here. Um, I'll post it in the link. And, you know, just take your time going through everything. Now, um, for the ones that's having CPU fan errors and stuff like that. Okay, I found a problem with some of these motherboards where... Um, some of some of the stuff is like not labeled correctly onto the motherboards like this one right here I don't know if you can see it but I'm gonna focus on it see like right there it says CPU fan it is a CPU fan um, you can't see it. It's like right there. It's a CPU fan. Now some of the boards um, make you plug them in at the top. I had a good. I had had a question on this video about this about the CPU fan error uh, video that I made. I made another one like that, but. I haven't fixed it. I fixed it. I fixed mine now, but turn to find out that a cable was plugged into the wrong CPU fan. So I had to unplug it. I had to unplug the fans. That CPU fan right here for this um for this cooler master right here. So what I did, I unplugged it. I unplugged it and I just tested it out. I unplugged it and then started it up again. To see if the CPU fan error will go away. Um, you can always bypass that CPU fan error. I'm going back into the BIOS. I just exit out of the BIOS. Let's see if I can pull this up again. I'm sorry guys, this is a long I'm gonna put some timestamps. Um I'll put some timestamps on here. So you ain't gotta 
watch this whole video just for that part. Jeez, it's taking this thing so long. Let's start the computer over. It's almost about time for me to clean this PC too. So I might do a video on how to clean a PC also. I'm going to go ahead and do that. <laughs> Yeah, guys, I've been enjoying life. Been trying to do some things. I've been working, making money, making things happen. You know, trying to make things, make, make the best of life, I guess. So it's like, it's whatever, y'all. Load previous values, cancel. Um, you know what though? What in the world? I said while I'm in my BIOS, let me go ahead and, and let me go ahead and check to see if there is a BIOS update. Yeah, Easy Flash Utility. Oh, sorry, guys. It's taking a second. It's all right. I'm just feeling around. <sighs> you can skip all this if you want to. But I, I don't know. This might help some of y'all guys out, you know. I mean, people may not met, never mess with the BIOS before, you know. Messing around with the BIOS is, you know, crazy. Also, if you have a computer with a um, that came from another, if you have a hard drive that come from another computer, that has windows like a bootable windows on there when you put it in that that hard drive is registered to that computer that you had before you put it into your new computer so you have no choice but to put it back in that new com put it back into the old computer and take all the data that you want off of there and then put it onto your onto a hard drive or something or a flash drive I, I prefer a flash drive because it's a lot easier so you just back up your data and then delete it on that computer and then start it over and you know just just partition it format it done and then br and then bring it over to the newer computer and see if that'll work too because you know, sometimes playing around in this BIOS like I'm doing now, like, can mess up your computer. Not as bad. It'll just take you straight to the BIOS. And then you just, you know, bring everything back and reset it. So, easy flash utility. I was trying to see if I can do this online. Like, an online. Um, so, that's all my files. FL Studio, Producer Edition, 11. Yeah, that's crazy. That is crazy, bro. I did not know. I did not know I can do that. Okay. That's something new. Playing around in my bios. I'm going to call it this video. And as you can see, my CPU fan speed is normal. Um, look at that. It's, it's, it's monitoring it. Because you know, I tested out tested out which one to want to see, and now it's working. I mean, I ain't gotta I ain't gotta go to ignore. So this is the option that you're gonna hit ignore on. You're gonna want to go to ignore right here if you having CPU fan errors. If you want a quick fix for that, if you want to test to see if your computer is working, so you do it like that. You just put it on ignore. Um, there's no issues with that no more. Um, I don't have a pump. 
I don't have an AI pump. Uh, I don't have any of this. I don't have this, this, a water pump speed. M.2 fan. Yeah. I got an M.2 fan, but I don't use it. Um, because I'm not, I don't have an M.2 card. Let's see. Now, RAM frequency, I have 3200 um, Z skill, Trident Zs. So, what I'm going to do is, you know, show you guys how to play around. Play around in the BIOS a little bit and mess around with that. This is for your new users. So we're gonna go to what is that memory frequency? So I got thirty two hundred. So I'm gonna put mine on thirty two hundred. DDR four thirty two hundred. Boom! Switch it off to here. Let's see CPU core ratio. Now, this is different. I usually leave this on auto because I don't like messing with this. CPU core ratio. Let's see. Um, I usually don't mess with this too much. I leave everything on auto. I mean, if you want to be a super overclocker, I mean, you can play with this stuff. But if you really want to mess with it, got a uh, DOCP. So 1800 megahertz. Overvolting may cause instability on Gen 4 devices. So you're going to put OK. So I put 100 overclocking. Let's see clock spread spectrum nah I don't play with that a little I don't play with that much let's see CPU core ratio I don't play with that I don't play with those basically basically I just keep my current settings set like that but I usually but me personally, like I, I really don't like to overclock anything because I like longevity. So I keep everything on auto, automatic, except for my RAM, <laughs> which it changes it back to. Yeah, they really got to fix that. All right. Jesus Christ, man. There we go. All right, cool. But this is my first BIOS video. Um, and, you know, if you got any questions, you know, just play around on this thing, you know, and ask me, you know. Hey, if you're having trouble tweaking something, I mean, let me know. We still having hard drive issues. Hey, that's what's up, man. You know. You know, try and fail this trial and error with these hard drives because some of these hard drives are not that great. If especially if it's like an off-brand, I hate I hate saying off-brand um, hard drives because like some off-brand hard drives work great, you know. And and you know it's you know it works, you know. Let me exit out of here, save changes, and reset. Alright guys, I think it's about time for me to get off y'all, um, I'll see y'all next time, I hate to see, I hate to make these 25 minute videos, but hey, it's just me fiddling around with, um, with the BIOS, and me testing out, you know, testing, testing out and answering questions a little bit on that video, um, well actually two videos, but I'm putting both of them videos up there, um, I'll see y'all next time. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And I, that's going to be way better videos than this. I'm just getting into the midst of this stuff. 
and it's going to be long and extensive, but I'll see y'all next time.